I feel like even during the, uh, the last drive, their last drive, with, uh, with no timeouts, up for, timeouts for us, I still feel like we were pretty calm on the sideline, even though it did look like a bad situation. The offense seemed pretty calm. We'd been in a situation before, like with Maris and other games like that. And then when we finally did get the ball, like people knew we needed to make plays, but people weren't panicking. People were maybe a little nervous, but they didn't show it. And then finally when that last play came, we just, we were lucky to make the play and get the touchdown. No, I were just, I just remember during the timeout, Coach Inkstrand was telling Keith, uh, you're gonna, like, you want to roll right, and obviously the first read is the three receivers, but if they do leave me one-on-one, -on -one, don't, like, don't count me out, because he does have a strong enough arm to throw it back across the field, and he, he read it right. Uh, Tanner wasn't surprised, because when uh, he sent Keith back out to the field, he told Keith to, as he rolled to the, uh, to the offensive right, if the three receivers were covered, to look back at Brandon because he might have one-on-one -on -one coverage. And I heard him say, you've got the arm to throw it. And that's exactly what happened. It's deja vu all over again. After the catch, it was nuts. I just remember looking out the, uh, to the sideline and just everyone running out after me and cheering. And this just, it was, it was just a crazy, crazy finish. Never, never done anything that I can recall that ended on the last play of the game where you won and that you were behind. Never, ever recall that. Seen a lot of last minute drives. I've seen that with this team, but not the last play. And that, I mean, that's something that probably uh, should be in the archives here at USD for, for uh, all to remember. From the beginning of the year, this has been our like, highest goal. I remember all the seniors stood up and um, said, a little, said uh, a little something to the team during camp. And my main thing was just, I wanted to go to playoffs just because of how it happened last year. And, I'm just really excited to go to the playoffs. Obviously, we have to focus on Cal Poly this week, but after Cal Poly and looking towards the future, it's going to be pretty exciting. I want us to play well against Cal Poly. I have a great respect for them. They've got a unique offense, and it's very difficult to get ready for. They're fast. They're physical. They, uh, they execute well. Uh, they've got great speed on offense. Defensively, they're very solid. Uh, uh, I won't say simplistic, but they, they know what they want to do, and they know how to do it quite well. So they're, they're a solid football team all the way around, even in special teams. Everything they do, uh, they do quite well. And uh, I don't know that uh, their record is indicative of how good they are. Uh, they could have had just the kind of opposite year that we've had, where we've had all the luck. Sometimes really good teams have all the bad luck, and their record doesn't show it. We're looking for a win. I mean, uh, regardless of who we're playing, every week we're looking for a win. We know we. We still haven't played our best game. I mean, we definitely shouldn't have been that close against Valpo, but we got the win, that's nice. But we definitely need to play our best game now and going into the playoffs.